Let's go back tens of thousands of years back into history, when humanity was not surrounded by the chaos of infrastructure, of buildings, of cars. Instead, we lived out in nature, in tune with the animals, with the ecosystem, and with the sun, with the stars at night. Let's take that concept of that connection with nature and tackle it a little bit more. Because in our essence, as human beings, dating back to our ancestors, that is who we are. That connection with nature is very crucial, and it seems to be as crucial to our happiness and our positive living. Hello there and welcome. It's nice to be right here on Positive Living on KTV2 once again. And we are during the holy month of Ramadan, and it's always great to be positive and have a positive outlook when it comes to things during the holy month of Ramadan. Positive living means during this month is to do very positive, good deeds, do a lot of different charitable acts also. It's very good to help the people that are in need, the little that are less needy and so forth, that need assistance, so it's very important to do that during the holy month of Ramadan. Some examples of that is also to provide the iftar meals for people that are a little less fortunate. Then you bring a smile to them and you make them feel happy and so forth, especially when they're all sitting together and uh, breaking their fast in a very nice and friendly way. And they all get together. I mean, you see that all throughout the state of Kuwait at the different areas, all the mosques in Kuwait. You have the different people meeting, getting together and enjoying themselves. Uh, this is all part of positive living. It's an essential part of life during the holy month of Ramadan, especially when they break the fast, they break it together, they enjoy their time, and they have a very good and happy Ramadan. Also, it's important to give charity also. When you see the less fortunate, it's good to donate and give some money to them to help them out. Or if you have clothes to give, things like that. Those always make the people feel positive and they feel happy during uh, this beautiful month of Ramadan. It's about giving back and uh, making people feel happy in general and becoming closer to one another. It's about having the good relationships. It's very important during the holy month of Ramadan to have these different kinds of relationships and uh, positive living is the best way to do this and uh, that's the most positive way to do this during the month of Ramadan is to have that. When you do that, it's like you're giving charity and you're also helping out one another during the month of Ramadan. Also, it's very important is the family relationships where the extended family, they meet together. They gather over the iftar meal. They also spend a lot of time together. The whole extended family, where the families get to see each other, the nieces, the nephews, brothers and sisters, uh, they all meet together to have a very nice family time, which is very important also for positivity during this holy month of Ramadan. You also like to see that continuing throughout the year. We don't just like it during Ramadan but we'd like to have that keep going all throughout the year. It's a, a very essential and important part of uh, positive outlooks and positive living for uh, great things to do during the holy month of Ramadan. So those are just some of the things that we look forward to. Stay tuned for more. Welcome back to uh, Positive Living right here on KTV2, the family channel. 
and we're talking about positive living during the holy month of Ramadan. The best time of year to have positivity spreading out to all the people, no matter what you may be thinking or doing, always try to be positive and give back to society, give back to people, especially during the holy month of Ramadan. That's some of the essential and main things to do. Also do a lot of kind deeds for people and also give what you have, extra things. Give it to the people that are a little less fortunate. It makes them feel happier and it makes them feel positive. It makes them feel happy. And these are things that you want from people surrounding you in your communities. That's the theme of Ramadan is giving back, uh, being positive, also uh, going out to experience the different uh, things that we have in our culture here, which is the diwaniyas, the ghabgas, and so forth. Uh, all of this is positive, positive living, because you meet family, you meet friends. Sometimes you don't see your friends, certain friends, only on these special occasions during the holy month of Ramadan. And it's such a nice atmosphere to sit in a very friendly environment and enjoy uh, such beautiful times with all the different people that you may meet and experience during this month of Ramadan. So it's really very important and essential to have these visits and it leads to positivity in so many different ways. So especially if you go like to visit in the Diwaniyas, the people are very receptive. You have a lot of our different people, the expat community here going out to visit, exchange ideas and views. Uh, about what Ramadan is all about. Uh, it just leads to a good bond between uh, the people here, the different communities. Uh, then they also organize the various uh, Ghabga events also that have different, let's say, different expat communities do this and they invite some of their friends and so forth. So they all get together, meet in a nice way and exchange pleasantries and uh, different uh, ideas and talk about different things in a positive manner, in a positive light, which leads to only good things and positivity all the way throughout. And that's what we look forward to all the time. So this is, of course, your uh, favorite program, Positive Living, right here on KTV2. And I hope you enjoyed all that I had to say on tonight's episode of uh, Positive Living. And make sure to enjoy uh, the holy month of Ramadan. And always remember to be positive Think positive and always have a big smile on your face. So until then, make sure to enjoy more episodes of this program right here on KTV2, the family channel. Take care for now, and we'll see you very soon. If you're intrigued by the idea of reconnecting with nature as a human being, but you're a little hesitant because you're scared of the insects, you do not want to leave the comfort of your bed or the weather freaks you out. Maybe it's going to rain at night on your camping trip. Keep that all aside. Yes, there are definitely challenges when you reconnect with nature, but there's also a lot of beauty. You keep yourself away from all the distractions of life. You throw away your phones, you throw away your work. Instead, you focus on what it means to live in the moment. Let's say hiking, let's say camping, under the stars of the night or under the sun in the morning. That beauty and that reconnection with the breeze and of nature will definitely fill your soul up.